I could have yours though. It's a dead out six fifties. It's one of one of the two that were completely leaked and rusted. So I cut the top off this one. There's the inside there. Quality stuff. Now I've sent a check on the internet, I thought it was fake news. <laughs> but you put like a pin underneath this cap and you push down, there's a little metal valve in there, you press down, and the battery um leaks a bit of gas because there's pressure built up in it. Now, if you do this because if the battery doesn't want to charge and the charger won't pick it up at all, and I'll connect this thing to a load, I get no, nothing. Completely dead. It won't give me any current, nothing. Multimeter says it's got voltage, but that's about it. It's got about 3.2 volts in there. I'm going to put the, this in the flashlight to just to confirm that it's not passing any current because it's just acting like a completely dead flat battery. Turn the light on. Nothing at all. I saw this neat trick week in the year. I demonstrated on camera. I thought this was fake, but it actually does work. I tried this with four other batteries like this one, and lo and behold, it bloody worked. But underneath these caps, there's like a valve, a metallic, a metal disc underneath inside that gap. You gotta press down with a pin, and it opens up and it vents the battery. And um, that'll reconnect the circuit under here. And sure enough, it actually works. Listen, I'll do it with this one. There we go. This needs a bit of a bit of an old one. I think I got it right in here. Uh, yep, I pressed the disc there. Let's give it a check in the charger. But I've done this trick with these two, with this battery, and, and another one, plus this one now. So it's worked successful with all these ones and the other one. Let's see if it work with this one. Oh, it wants to charge now. <laughs> no. Yeah, it sort of wants to go. I know with this one here, I um, when I pulled the tab off it, I cracked the bottom of it, uh, yeah, it leaked, so I just cleaned it up and re-soldered the hole just to, re to stop it from leaking, but I think that might be too far gone as a, as a result of that. It's leaked a little bit of its um, uh, uh, electrolyte, which is, I don't blame it why it's not willing to charge anymore. Had that hole not have uh, been there, from when I t ripped the tab off, it might have been actually savable, but anyway. These batteries have actually come out quite well. These wouldn't pass a charge, but had voltage. A charger wouldn't even charge them. I did the same trick with those, and they're working fine now. Yeah, so it's just cycling this battery. Yeah, this only might be too far gone. As I said, I've soldered the bottom where the hole was. There's a tiny crack in the bottom of this where I ripped the tab off. Yeah. Lost, it lost its electrolyte in that. And that's what's damaged this battery, but anyway. Success with the other ones, definitely. Aha, there we go, it does work now. There's the original battery. Is that one there? That trick did work. Now there we go. They won't say they can give that a good hit in the charger. They won't recharge it properly this time because it obviously mustn't have charged properly the first time. It wasn't a very good connection inside that battery to get a good charge. Now that I've uh, pushed the uh, vent valve down inside underneath there, it's uh, repaired it. It's actually passing current now. The charger should uh, cycle it a bunch of times and eventually it'll, it'll work. But because this uh, Panasonic's have been dead for so long that they're permanently damaged. So I'm not going to get much useful air powers out of these. Merely a uh, capacity out of them. So one thing these batteries don't like is it sit below 3 volts for a long period of time. That ruins them. Out of every single battery, these are the only ones that are weak. So far so good. It's got to get above 3 volts a bit and the charger should start to charge it properly. Give it time. 
Anyway, working quite well this setup. Thanks for watching.